hello this is probability lesson 1 in this i will discuss probability basics now first basic come in probability is random experiment random experiment what is a random experiment a random experiment is experiment in which you know total possible outcomes you know total possible outcomes but you don't know which outcome will come we don't know which outcome will exactly come which out, which out, outcome will exactly appear or come we know total possible outcomes but we don't know which outcome will exactly appears or come for example you toss a coin you toss a coin you know the total possible outcomes you know it either it will be a head or it will be a tail but you don't know which outcome will come when you toss the coin so that is a random experiment so tossing of coin is a random experiment and in probability we deal with only random experiments if coin is tossed you know total possible outcomes it could be head or it could be tail but we, we don't know which outcome will exactly appears that is a random experiment same way you throw a dice you know total possible outcomes are it could 1 2 3 4 5 or 6 you know total possible outcomes either one can come or two can come 3 4 or 5 or 6 but once you will throw the dice we don't know what outcome will exactly come one of these will appear we don't know which outcome will exactly come it may be 3 or it may be 4 or it may be 2 but we know that total possible outcomes are 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 that is the meaning of a random experiment and in probability we deal only with the random experiments next is sample space sample space what is sample space when a random experiment is conducted r e stand for random experiment random experiment is conducting conducted set of all possible outcomes set of all possible outcomes is called as the sample space for example a dice is thrown if a dice is thrown the sample space would be s a sample space would be 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 this is a sample space set of all possible outcomes either one can come two can come three can come four can come five can come six can come so once you write set of all possible outcomes in a set form this bracket represent a set form uh, element separated by comma this is called the sample space same way two coins are thrown two coins are thrown what will be a sample space set of all possible outcomes it could be head 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 tail tail head tail tail so that the meaning of a sample space now what is the meaning of event event is a subset subset means part of sample space event is a subset of sample space for example a dice is thrown when a dice is thrown what is the sample space sample space is set of all possible outcomes it could be 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 event a is getting an even number let me define the event getting an even number this is event so what will be the elements which represent this event it could be it these are 2 4 and 6 so 2 4 are 6 are element which are there in event a it means getting an even number so once you throw a dice even number could be 2 4 or 6 this is the event a now this 2 4 6 sub subset is a part of set sample space so subset means part of set so this event a is a part of sample space event b let's say getting multiple of 3 getting a number multiple of 3 you throw a dice you want to get the multiple of 3 multiple of 3 could be 3 or 6 so that will be the 
event B. So in this way we can define the event as per our convenience. What will be the impossible event? Impossible event while throwing a dice. When the dice is thrown, what will be the impossible event? Getting 7. If you throw a dice, if I am defining an event as getting 7, it will be impossible event because once you throw the dice, 7 will never come. So this subset will be empty subset or you can say the phi. Empty subset is represented as phi. This is PHI phi. Or you can say that it's an empty sub subset. So this event is impossible event because once you throw the dice, 7 will never appear. So this event is impossible event. What is a sure event? Sure event that it will definitely happen. Sure event is that once the dice is thrown, getting number from 1 to 6. What is the possibility of event when the dice is thrown and you want to get 1 to 6? It definitely will come. It's a sure event. Once you throw the dice, either 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or 6 will come. So getting number from 1 to 6 is a definitely sure event. This possibility is 100%. Definitely this event will happen once you throw the dice and this will be a sure event. Next is mutually exclusive events. What are these ex events? Mutually exclusive events. Two or more events are mutually exclusive. ME mutually exclusive when only one of them happen at a time. Only one of them happens at a time. Exactly and only and exactly one of them. Only and exactly one of them will happen at a time. For example, uh, you throw a dice. A dice is thrown. Let's say event A, I am saying event A. We have to define event by ourselves. Event A is getting an even number getting an even number so is favorable cases will be 2 4 and 6 event b i am defining event b getting an odd number getting an odd number this is event b so its favorable cases would be 1 3 and 5 now you can see that these two events a and b these are mutually exclusive events and me these are mutually exclusive events because once you throw the dice Either the number will be an even number or it will be a odd number. Both event will not happen together. Let's say you throw the dice, 6 will come. It will be event A will happen. A will happen. Once you throw the dice, 6 comes, event A will happen. 5 comes, B will happen. But both of them together will never happen, never, never happen. So these events in which only one will happen at a time, these are called as mutually exclusive. Very important, mutually exclusive events are those events in which only one of them will happen at a time. Both or, or all of them will never happen together in case the events are more than two. Other way to represent them, them is that if you... Uh, Calculate A intersection B. This is A intersection B. This is called as A intersection B. Or you can say that this is A and B. The same thing. A intersection B, A and B. This, there will be no common number. This will be empty set. So A and B will be empty set. Because there will be no common. This is other way to represent the mutually exclusive events. If you calculate the intersection, intersection means common element, common element in both A and B. So it will be a null set or empty set. You can say you can see that 2, 4, 6, 1, 3, 5, there is no common elements. So this will represent the empty set. So possibility of A and B 
in a sense will be zero so mutually exclusive events uh, theoretically or logically we can say that exactly one of them them will be happen at a time both of them will never had happen at a time this is one possibility of understanding other way is that if you make the subset if you make the sets a and b of mutually exclusive events their common element will be nil or zero there will be no common element that's the meaning of mutually exclusive events next is collectively collectively exhaustive event what are these events these are basic that will be helpful in solving the question collectively exhaustive events are the events whose union will be equals to sample space these are events whose union will be equals to sample space for example a dice is thrown event a e a event a is i am defining let's say getting an even number this will be equals to 246 what will be sample space let me first define sample space sample space would be 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 event a i have defined getting an even number event b getting multiple of 3 getting multiple of 3 this will become 3 6 event c getting prime number this is 2 3 and 5 event d getting an odd number 1 3 now what what i means collectively exhaustive means that select any two or more than two events more than two events whose union will be sample space what is union union means you just have to uh, include all the elements now does event a and b are collectively exhaustive no a and b are not a, a and b are collectively exhaustive ce collectively exhaustive events no because if you calculate a union b union means you need to include all the elements a union b will be include all the elements in a and b and you have to calculate one element once so it will be 2 3 4 and 6 how many elements are there in both a and b 2 3 4 and 6 now this will not make the sample space so these events are not collectively exhaustive what about a and you can say that a and d event a and d are collectively exhaustive because a union d a union d 2 4 6 1 3 5 this will make the sample space 1 2 3 4 5 6 all elements of sample space will come so you can say that event a and d are collectively exhaustive very simple two or more events are collectively exhaustive when their union union means you have to include all the elements will equals to sample space what about can i say a b and d these three together are also a b d they are also collectively exhaustive because if you calculate a union b union d this will also make the sample space 1 2 3 4 5 6 the so two or more events can be mutually exclusive when their union union means to include all the elements in all the sets this will be equals to sample space so that was the probability lesson 1 probability basics i will continue with the basics in the next lesson thank you